Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Alakai, your long lost friend. Haven't made a video in a little bit. Haven't gone fishing very much. The harbors and the bays have been really slow and um, being in the holiday season, I just got it all tied up with a bunch of other stuff. Did have a chance to run to that fishing derby a lot too long ago, but now we are at something quite exciting. We're gonna go try the Victory Sport Boat. It's a three quarter day out of Berth 55 over here in Long Beach, California. We made to go. It's about 5.45 in the morning. Um, a little bit early, but that's okay. We're going to give it a try. Not been on this one before. I'm bringing a Pen 500, and I'll talk about all my setups, a Pen 500 and then my Alexa 400. I'll talk about my complete setup later on. But for the time being, we're going to try to go out there, and my target fish today, if I can catch it, is a sheephead. Now, I know a lot of people, it's not a big deal for a lot of people, but keep in mind, I'm still new with all this, so... We're going to give it a try, and we're going to hopefully catch one of those. I did bring some shrimp in case anybody's uh, curious about that. And um, we're going to give it, we're going to go for it. I have three different dropper loop setups that I'm going to be trying. And again, I'll go over that um, to see what works and um, see what we're talking about. See, hopefully it works. Okay, I'll talk to you later. It's a nice little small little landing. It's too bad I can't fish over here. There's a sign that says no fishing on the docks, but I can definitely see there being some spotties in here. But that's the boat. That's the uh, victory. We're ready on. We'll do that. And if that one doesn't bite, we'll move over a little bit. There's a little bit of small in there. Let's talk about the setups I'm going to be using today. Today, this is the first one right here. It's got a lot of hardware, but it was recommended by some pretty cool guys, so I decided to give it a try. It's a double dropper loop um, using three way swivels. So there's two three-way swivels on here. It's coming off the main line, three-way swivel, another three-way swivel, and then it goes to a weight on the bottom. Today it's gonna to be a 10 ounce weight. Um, the bottom holding it down. And then I'm using uh, one-knot circle hooks on these things coming off the dropper loop. So I just got an old Sabre 865 and a Pen 500 on the roof of reel using 25 pound test and 60 pound braid in the back. I've got a reverse dropper loop coming off of a mono topped Lexa 400 with 60 pound, I think it's 60 pound or 40 pound braid. Um, it's got the swivel on the top, it's got the uh, weight is gonna be placed on the top there and a circle hook. Again, a two watt light wire circle hook coming off the bottom again. It's called a reverse dropper loop. And this is in case we find some sheep head today. Um, this is also a good setup for link cod from what I saw on um, videos too. So we're gonna give that a try. Um, but the one thing that's about this is that it has a high chance of getting caught up on the bottom because your bait is kind of free swimming. So we're gonna be using either shrimp or live squid on the bottom there with my Lexa 400 and my Pro uh, Daiwa Proteus rod. bait oh that's gross nasty so we're getting here something is seems pretty heavy though whatever it is got one rockfish or one uh, salmon group already this one right here seems a little bit bigger Oh no, it's because two. Nice. Oh no. We're on for another double there, I don't lose. We've got something coming up. Yep, another double. Nice ones. There we go. Is that a scope on the bottom? No, grouper. Awesome, thank you. Hopefully this is a decent size, we'll see. Doesn't feel too heavy. You're just never quite sure when you're pulling up these rockfish, what you're gonna get. It's part of the fun, really, for me. It's a surprise. Yeah, it's a smaller size guy. 
nine o'clock. Uh, Bunch of small ones in there so far. I think we're on for like six or so. Right now, hopefully you can hear me over the boat. It's just quite simply a two-watt circle hook. Use the red color. And um, somebody had commented a while back just to let the uh, squid come off the back. So I just doubled, doubled it over here and leaving quite a bit to be floating around, kind of enticing them. Doing pretty good on the circle hooks. I'm keeping up. Uh, I mean, there's just not very many big fish right now this time of year. It's really close to the end of the year, uh, a week before Christmas. So doing pretty well. On this one right here, again, same size, two odd circle hook with a um, sardine on it. And I slip it through the nose and I set it down. Again, it's doing pretty well. I'm not sure whether a two watts right or a one odd at this point, but um, I can't be picky because I'm actually picking up some fish. So it's doing well. Few of them on there. That's why. Here we go. Another nice thread. Up and over. What? Uh, squid. Those things don't have spines either? Nope. For good? The only one is the sculpin. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you fell off the one. Dude, you have a. <laughs> My hooking methods are something else. Oh, it is from the mouth, too, though. Western Pride, a half day boat. I think out of Newport or something. And then the Enterprise out of uh, Pier Point Landing, all fishing in the same spot, along with a lot of. Uh, smaller boats man there's there's a boat over there tons of people on that one so we are done with the um i guess the rockfish stuff the salmon grouper and all that so now we're heading into go for the sheephead and target the uh, white fish smaller hooks so i went down to a, a one knot circle hook reverse double reverse lopper loop so just a five ounce weight's going to be on the back and then it kind of come off the long lead with a one knot circle i'm going to be using shrimp um, and uh, squid if I can use it, um, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm excited about that. It's the only thing I care about uh, today is everybody knows, but uh, we're going for it. It is only 12 o'clock. I uh, limited on uh, rockfish, no problem, no problem at all um, in the uh, the morning hours, but we still have a lot of time to go catch some of this, so I'm, I'm really hopeful that uh, I'll catch my sheephead today. Something hit me pretty hard here. See what we got. There's a white fish. Oh, there's two white fish. Oh, sheephead. There you go. A female sheephead. First drop, huh? First drop. There it is. <laughs> this one looks like Maybe I should have specified a male sheephead. Is that legal? Uh, they're going to be 12 inches, so I'm going to measure this one. It looks like he's not going to make it. I'll measure him. Case. If it's legal, I want to take a picture. I don't think it's going to be legal. It's not? No. Sure. Okay. Pass it back there. I don't want to see that. This one's fighting a little better now. Let's get illegal. We want that male. Another female. Yeah, I don't know if this guy's going to be legal or not either. You got them teeth on there. Two for two? Two for two. Your method is working. Then one. Make a mark. <laughs> <laughs> you like you a pet. <laughs> it does. That one's hungry. This one seems like a much bigger one. We'll see it. This guy goes. Oh, there you go. Come on. It's that meal. That black and red coming out. Nope, nice another female. Head. Another fe bigger one though. There we go.
think that's it, right? I got it. Hell yeah. I got it, man. That's it. High five. <laughs> awesome, man. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Jesus, man. This is, uh... Yeah, it's still on. Another female. That was a nice one. I guess so, huh? Oh, there we go. Look at that one, huh? Look at that one. Hold it up. That's not one. There's another sheep bed. Yeah. Number three. three. I think it's four. I think it's number four, actually. Oops. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Nope, it's not a sheep head. Oh, there you go. Oh, and you snagged it. I snagged it. What is this? Those are really big ones. Is it a rockfish? It's a rockfish, yeah. Spending the day, it's pretty good. Um, but uh, a lot of good places, a lot of good people on this boat, okay, for sure. Uh, Victory is a really cool boat to go on to. Um, man, the service here is amazing. You just gotta, gotta check it out. Um, Captain was real nice. He was, they were uh, very accommodating. Everything was good. The service man. Every time I got stopped or um, got stuck or anything, the uh, uh, deck hands are right there to, to help out for sure. So, um, real good boat. Real nice. Uh, fits in my schedule today for sure. And um, everybody on here was uh, super accommodating. So, even for uh, somebody new like myself, um, we're pretty close into the harbor now. So we're probably not gonna have a chance to even clean all the fish. But um, for the most part, it's no problem. Uh, anyways. We'll see you next time, <laughs> hopefully uh, in the new year or some more um, harbor and bay fishing. <laughs> All right, take care, guys. See ya. Hey, well, thanks for watching that video. Um, I'm hopeful that uh, you all were able to see how um, I did it. I kind of achieved my 2019 goal, caught my sheep head, um, and uh, it was all due to my setup. My setup, in case you're curious, is the Daiwa Proteus boat. 80 MHF, medium heavy, uh, and this was paired along with my, of course, my Lexa 400. It's the WN, the Wind Collaboration, the HSP. It's a 7.1 to 1 ratio. This is an absolute workhorse. I love it so much. I do get concerned about how much line is on here. I have been reading a lot of articles that said this thing puts on like 270, 300 yards. I don't have it filled that much. I think that I... Um, need to uh, uh, look at that again because I think I'm still having some some area there, a little gap there where I can put more line on there. Um, but I don't get too worried. Honestly, I've gotten rock fishing with it and it hits the 270, 300 foot mark without any problem. Um, for the deeper rock fish stuff, I was using my, I keep calling it the Pen 500. It's not really a Pen 500, it's a Pen 505 HS. And this is um, part of, you know, Pen's reels are like the workhorses, right? They've been around forever. This is a high-speed version of their 500, which if you can find one, pick it up because they go really cheap. They're like 20, 30 bucks sometimes, um, and it's got the, the the different handle. I don't like this part of the handle. It feels like a little bit toyish for me, so I kind of would rather. I might think about getting one of those bigger handles. Um, it's five point. It's five to one ratio, so it's not that far off from a lot of the other more modern reels. But it is heavy and it holds a grip ton of line. I don't have that much line on there, but it holds a ton of line on there. And I pair that up with an old saber rod. But um, <clears throat> having a great time. 2019 ended fabulously. My next objective is lingcod. I'm really going to be trying for a lingcod next year. 
um, when the season starts up again. And um, yeah, if you have any suggestions, I'd be I would absolutely love it if you were to drop it in the bottom. Um, as of right now, I'm going to be using a 6.5 inch hammer swim bait with like a four or six ounce lead head on the bottom with maybe like a quarter or three ounce uh, swim bait on the top, um, jigging on the bottom and kind of going up and down. I was kind of thinking about using like one of those little snap lights and maybe shaking it up in there and sticking it on that thing. So we're going to see what we can come up with and how much more research I can do. Um, I've been spending tons of time on the internet and I've got and I've got four more months, three more months to um, in order to look for that. But anyways, um, sheephead, let's go back to talking about sheephead. There's a lot of controversy from what I saw about sheephead and eating them. And if you look online, of course, you gotta you got to filter out all the different articles on sheep's head with the ass. There's tons of articles on that, but we want to go with the sheep head. The sheep head, there seems to be a lot of um, controversy or a lot of people aren't posting very many recipes because they're saying that it tastes bad or that the meat is too mushy. And um, I cooked that up, that sheep head up. I steamed it inside of an Instant Pot. An Instant Pot I did it with. Um, it was only four minutes into the steam function. Um, brought up the pressure. It steamed for four minutes. I had uh, um, seasoned soy sauce in there with some rice wine um, and some ginger and just let it steam out and it came out and it was absolutely wonderful. Hopefully you can see some pictures here. <laughs> and um, it, it turned out great. It was totally flaky and the consistency was absolutely like uh, crab, right? It does have a sweeter, a little bit sweet flavor it's not overpoweringly sweet. Um, it just depends on how much sauce and stuff you put on there. Um, next time I like to try it with a little more spice to it, but um, it was absolutely delicious and totally healthy. I mean, you steam up a fish, you can't get better than that. So I'm here to tell you that the uh, sheep head was, was delicious. Zero problem with it, zero problem with cooking it. And um, I, I also read a lot of articles about care of sheep head. And the reason why the meat gets mushy is because of improper care on the boat. So if you caught your sheep head early and you're letting it sit and cook in the sun, apparently the meat goes um, mushy faster than other rockfish and other types of fish. So that could be the problem. And maybe the reason why some people, when they cooked it up, the meat was mushy is because um, they didn't take care of it uh, when they caught it. I, I don't know. But um, I caught mine uh, later in the day, probably about 1 o'clock or so. You, you probably saw it in the video. Probably about 1 o'clock or so and 2 o'clock, somewhere in that time frame. And it was great the rest of the day. When we're when we're heading into the to the um, to the shore, I put it in a plastic bag and I stuck it inside the uh, the bait wells where the cool water is at. I don't know. I didn't have any problem with it at all. So um, overall, it was a great experience. Uh, thank you everybody for on the boat and the victory, the three quarter day victory out of Long Beach uh, Berth Fifty Five. Awesome crew, man! What a great crew. You can't possibly ask for a nicer set of guys. Um, more like they're on the fish. They had us catching fish all day long. Um, super nice, just just chill, um, not overly aggressive. It was really good. There was like 30 people on the boat too, so it was quite, you know, a little busier than, than, than I'm used to for based on my other two videos, but it was really fun. And um, kudos to, to that uh, boat, and I, I'm i dead set, man. I'm going on that boat from now on. Um, I might try some others, but when it comes to a three-quarter day, it's that victory out of Long Beach. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for always watching. Thanks for everybody. If you were on the boat and you're asking who I was filming everything, thank you uh, for helping me out, helping this noob out on catching his sheep head and the rockfish fun and um, just laughing and having a great time on the boat. I appreciate everything that was on that boat and I, I just loved it so much. The people there, um, I can't, can't rave more about it. So thank you everybody. Take care. We'll see you in, I might get out again in 2019 on a float tube, um, but uh, we'll definitely see you uh, on a, another offshore in the near future. Take care, everybody. Thanks. Bye.